Okay, obviously there's been another inspector here, and um, that's what this red dot is about. I, I hardly use dots any longer. So, um, so what is this? This is a GFCI receptacle outlet in the kitchen, like, <laughs> in the garage. And it trips manually. That's the way you're supposed to test them. So why did he do that? Well, that's he, who, she. Why did the other inspector do that? Because it just vibrates a little bit. Maybe there's something wrong with it. Let's see over here. No GFCI here at all. I was wondering if it's something else on the circuit. That's what I was trying to determine. So if there isn't anything on, okay, here we go. Inquiring minds want to know. There's another one. Okay, it's a GFCI protected too. This one doesn't work at all. It works mechanically. It works mechanically when tested, but it doesn't work electrically when tested. Line and load were reversed. This one, I'm pretty much set. Something's wrong with this one. This one, not so much. Not so much. They don't cost very much. I would go ahead and replace it. But technically, is that really wrong? The new ones trip that slow regardless. It's not a newer one, though. So it's not a built-in feature. So maybe I'd replace that one. I definitely, well, I probably would in my home. Uh, and this one, yeah. This one's probably nothing wrong with it. See the way it works so smooth? <laughs> it doesn't work when you test it manually unless something's plugged into it. Let's try that again. Isn't that weird? That might just be a wiring issue. But by the time you get an electrician out here, he's gonna cost more than the receptacle. So just have him replace the receptacles and be safe.